Vernon Sanders is on the Amazon side. And what they've done is they all had meetings with Jen Salka with all of the MGM people in scripted television, unscripted television, and film. We all saw that Mark Burnett left. Yes. So I'm going to have a little sidebar right now about Mark Burnett. No surprise. So <laughs> I worked with Mark Burnett at Fox. I worked with him at MGM. Brilliant. I will never, ever, ever say anything other than he is a brilliant guy when it comes to unscripted television and coming up with good ideas. Eight years at MGM, not one new show that worked. And while I was there, was not supportive of Stargate at all. Okay. And hmm. in fact, threw up roadblocks to Stargate. And he was on the board. Oh, that's interesting. Now, so I've never been able to survivor. say that. He's got Survivor under his belt. He's got the voice. But yeah, since he joined MGM, he sort of brought his whole unscripted division into MGM. And but there was nothing new. We didn't see much come of it. No, no, there was nothing new. And again, that's not to say that happens all the time with production. You know, you bring somebody sure. in as a shingle, quote, it's called a shingle under the parent of the studios because you want them to bring in something that is creative and new and the whole bit didn't happen. And from my point of view, not just for Stargate, but for other creative content that I saw go across scripted development's desk, talking with the people over there in uh, scripted content with Steve was there, with Rob Hochberg, Chris Ottinger, stuff didn't happen. And it was a hindrance. And as the article that I sent you guys, KCRW and Hollywood Reporter, were more uh, critical than I am, about that they say he was an agent of chaos. Now, I didn't see that, but it may have been that at the top, you know, on the board. I All I know is he wasn't a fan of Stargate, didn't want to spend the money. Yeah, so, so he would have had a say on Stargate, particularly just absolutely, because he was a member of the board. Well, and plus he was head of television. Okay, while so we were, while we were, yep, while we were in the middle of Stargate Command, he became head of television. Ah, I so see. It was a little bit of a transition, but he was on the board at the time, then because head of television. And he just, you know, look, whatever his reasoning was, which I don't know, because I wasn't present at those board meetings, but the, the news that trickled down to the rest of us was he and Nancy Tellum, who was the head of the board at the time, were adamant that Stargate just was not where to go. Okay, that's, everybody's entitled to their opinion. I, you know, there were lots of fights about it. And, you know, credit to Michael Brown, Simon Grady, Chris Ottinger, mm -hmm. who literally threw their bodies across the line to try to keep it going, make it happen. John Dax, all, you know, people who lost their jobs. And it just, it's unfortunate. I'm not really sure why it became the line we do not cross, but it did. So that's my little sidebar. So Mark Burnett leaves. He's no longer head of television. And now we have, coming in from MGM, Chris Breerton, who was our COO of all of MGM. And he is going to be in charge of MGM Plus and MGM Alternate Television and uh, oh, Prime it. Video yeah, Service. I'll, I'll do the footnotes for the people. MGM Plus is what Epix is going to be starting in January. Yep. That's uh, MGM's now owned premium cable service, which you can also get as an over-the-top streamer. Exactly. And the, the MGM alternative hasn't really been defined exactly. It's supposed to be the upscale MGM plus, plus some other things that are going to happen. Chris Bridgen has been pretty amazing. Now he's uh, what I, what I have my entire career called the difference between the creative guys and the bean counters. The best studios are the ones that combine both, that you have one of each. Chris Bridgen comes from a bean counter background but he has always worked hand in hand with creatives, always. And in this case, that's exactly what's gonna be happening. He'll be working with Jen Salka and others. Of everybody, I am so happy that he's coming over. Um, and separate from that, Chris Ottinger will also be coming over. I, I'm not gonna talk about it, but licensing and merchandising or what's considered acquisitions. Amazon's a little bit different in its hierarchy. It's got, uh, couple of new people over there. Chris Ottinger will be over in acquisitions, which is, you know, essentially what he was doing at MGM. 
Um, he'll only be reporting, you know, one up at that time. Um, marketing, Sue Kroll just came in at Amazon. Uh, Stephen Bruno will be coming over. So the supplemental divisions, we can talk about that another time. Okay. But I know the names Chris Brereton and Chris Ottinger. I think Chris Ottinger I met on the Midway. You did. Correct. He did. He was, and, and those again, two Chris's are both on, on Team Stargate, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ottinger, and definitely. Ottinger yeah. definitely is. Ottinger is a huge geek. Huge yeah. geek. So it's not just Stargate. Like he loves Robocop. He loves mm -hmm. all of it. He's also very much about the international distribution. So he's the one that's the big drum beater with uh, his department about making sure that international distribution happens appropriately. And he gets streaming. So, and streaming. So he'll yeah. be there. Chris Bridgen's the name to remember with, and this is important, Michael Wright. So Michael Wright came from Epics, came over to MGM, was in charge of scripted development at MGM, and now he will be in charge of all of MGM+. Plus. So Chris Bridgen's, uh, you know, essentially his title is going to be I'm at Amazon Studios and I'm in charge of all of the SVOD stuff. So MGM Plus, MGM Alternative, Prime Video for corporate strategy. Then Michael Wright, who is a huge Stargate fan, is in charge of MGM Plus. This is really, really good for us. Mm -hmm. So I want to repeat this. You have Jen Salka, who is just a huge talent supporter. She loves creative concepts. She loves creative television. Under her will be Chris Brereton. Well, Chris will actually report to Mike Hopkins, but whatever. Chris Brereton will be running corporate strategy for Prime Video, MGM Plus, MGM Alternative, and then Michael Wright, also from MGM, will be running MGM Plus, where if Stargate's going to go somewhere, it's one of the places, and I will address this rumor, it is one of the places that is most likely right now where Stargate would go. But we'll address that content thing a bit later. Okay. The second part of this that's really important is you've got scripted US and scripted SVOD television. And those are the ones that are gonna be actually making the decisions about what ideas go forward. And there's brand new people there, both of whom are huge sci-fi fans especially Lindsay Sloan, who's in charge of the U.S. one. So okay. all of the, now they're not from MGM. They came from other places or within Amazon. Yeah. Those are those are the basics. Now there's a lot, but those are the basics. And the, the thing that we need to really hang our hat on is all of this restructuring all in MGM, weaving MGM people into Amazon. Because let's remember now MGM doesn't really exist as its own silo. Now it's woven into Amazon Creative Studios. It's under essentially Jen Salka, Amazon Studios, television and film. Thank you for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving us a thumbs up with that like button. It will encourage the algorithm to show this to other Stargate fans. Also, please consider sending this to a fellow Stargate friend. I also want to invite you to subscribe to future episodes right here on YouTube. We are a live show, so changes are likely to happen all the time. And if you plan on joining us live, you'll want to be the first to know. Be sure to visit dialthegate.com for the complete guest schedule so you'll know when to join us and ask your very own questions to our guests. See you on the other side.